Hi, I'm Sandra, the creator at Sing, Play, Create, and today I'm showing three different activities you can use with a balloon ball. First, I'm going to show you how to blow up the balloon ball. This is a Bear Paw Creek product, and it's really fun to use, and I especially think it's a great idea for music teachers, especially if you're traveling. You can put this in your bag, you have a balloon, and you can blow it up. It's pretty easy. You put the balloon in first. And just blow up the balloon. And I am now ready to play a whole bunch of games. And they have a nice little, you can tuck it in so it's not going to catch and people can't get to it. So I love this Bear Paw Creek balloon ball. So there's lots of fun things we can do with this ball. We can toss it. We can pass it. We can toss it back and forth. We can throw it in a game and you can use it to even pat the beat. Stop, pass it, and have another child pass it. To, uh, can, you can play it on the beat, then pass it to the next student, and then they'll tap it eight times. Six, seven, eight, then pass it. And so it could go all the way around the circle, and everybody would get a turn to pass the balloon ball. It's a quick and easy game you can use to play the steady beat. Another way you can use a balloon ball is use it with one of your traditional songs. A really fun one to use it with is the Grizzly Bear song. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice singing the song on the steady beat. We're going to pat our knees. But then we can play a passing game. And so then we'll start at the beginning of the circle and pass it around to everybody. Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear. Pass it around. And when it gets to the very end of the song, if you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Whoever ends up with the balloon gets to get up and take the balloon. He gets very mad. You could come up with a way to play that kind of game with pretty much any song that you're using in your classroom. Either they can do it at the end, or you can find a way for them to pop it on a special word during the song. The next activity is one that will work for your upper elementary students. If you only have one balloon ball, then you'll have everyone get in a big circle. In the middle of the circle, you're going to put a bunch of flashcards, rhythm cards, or any kind of cards where you've taught the concept and you want to do some practice or have them show what they know. So it could be a melody card, a pitch card, it could be a rhythm card, it could be a, a music symbol card whatever it is you want, and put it on the floor. And then you're going to have the students take turns, and they're going to pop the balloon, whichever card they hit. They're going to go pick that card up. They're going to show what they know. And then they can put the card back, or they could keep it. And that means there's less cards in the middle, and play the game till they're all gone. Or whoever has the most cards wins. But it's a fun way where you can use the balloon ball to just pop it down and hit the card in the middle of the circle. Using a balloon ball in the music classroom gives you lots of opportunities to play games and students love games. So you can use this ball for lots of different activities in your music classroom. You can also use it in a song. You could have each line of the song or each verse in the song be a different action. Today I'm sharing a song I wrote, it's called My Ball. And each of the verses is a different action you can use with the ball. Now, if you only have one ball in your classroom, then you're going to want to have a situation where you have the students standing or sitting in a circle and they're going to need to take turns. So you could choose amount of time where they're going to pass the ball and just have them do it for each section of the song. Or you could have each student do one of the verses and then just repeat the song until everybody gets a turn. Or, if you're lucky, you could have a balloon ball for everybody in your classroom. The song is called My Ball, and the actions in the song are I'm bouncing the ball on the beat. The second verse is I'm tossing my ball in the air. 
Verse three is I'm passing my ball round and round. Now you could do it this way round or on this verse, you could have everybody pass it in the big circle. And then the next verse is I'm tapping my ball here and there. So they're gonna get to pat their ball. And then the last verse is I'm popping my ball to and fro. This game could also be played with pairs or a small group of four where they would take turns. There's five verses, so you could put five in each group and then each person would take a turn doing the, doing the action and everyone else could either pat the beat or you could out and clap the beat or just have them sing along while the one student is doing the action with the balloon ball. Today's video gave you some ideas on how you can use the blue ball in your music classroom. And thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe. Let's keep kids moving and learning with music.